Among the garden flowering plants, all of us are familiar with powder puff tree, scientifically known as Calyandra. Cali word is a Greek word which means beauty, beautiful, as we have the tradition of calligraphy, that visual art of writing. We decorate uh, writing. Similarly, the Kelly andra. Andra means androsium. Male part of the flower is androsium. So the plant are having the flowers beauty not due to petals but due to stamens, due to androsium. Androsium is gaudy in the plants which are kept under the botanical genus Calyandra, popularly known as fairy duster trees or red tassel flowering trees or powder puff trees because they have pom-pom like powdery masses of stamens. Stamens are gaudy, they are red in color. The number of stamens in one flower is more than 60. 70, 80 indefinite stamens and they are much longer than reduced petals. Sepals and petals, they are much reduced and longer stamens form a brush-like structure. They are also known as shaving brush bushes or the flame puff bushes or fairy dusters in Hindi, Hindustani Kalyandra has been named as Kalandar. We have variation in the flower color. Mostly, predominantly, they are deep red. So then it is called as a red tassel flower. Sometimes they have the pink, light pink flowers. For example, in uh, the species Kalyandra uh, brevipus. Calyandra brevipus is a shrubby, much branched shrub with bipinnate leaves. The leaves in the genus Calyandra, they are bipinnate. And the number of leaflets also vary. It has only three pairs of leaflets as we find in Calyandra emarginata. Uh, in case of Calyandra hematocephala, again the leaflets are elliptic and they are curved. But in case of Calystema and Brevipus, they are linear leaves. So shape of the leaflets and the number of pinny. Number of pinny is usually one or two. In case of Elvisias, which closely resemble the Calyandra, and Elvisia are trees and they have the more number of pinny, three, four pairs of pinny, and then divided into pinules, bipinnate. In case of acacias, which also resemble a little bit to Calyandra, we have the spines. But the stamens are free. In case of Elvisia and Calyandra, stamens are fused at the base. Sometimes the flowers also look like mimosa. Mimosa pudica, shui mui, lajbanti, touch me not, sensitive plant, we are familiar. And another plant which grows wild in the shivaliks, Mimosa rubicalis. But we can differentiate Calyandra from Mimosa uh, with the number of stamens. Number of stamens is less than 10 in case of Mimosa. We are in, in case of Calyandra, uh, stamens are indefinite. Uh, Another distinguishing feature between the two is the pod is jointed in case of Mimosa, Shuimui or Ral. But it is strap shaped with thickened margin in case of Calyandra. So many species of Calyandra, their diversity is concentrated in Central America and South America. Those mostly they are native to Central America and South America, for example, Calyandra tibidiana, which is quite a garden ornamental gaudy, 
scarlet red powder puff tree usually included in the gardens uh, calyandra protorisensis which is again having the white powder puff flowers and its extract has been found useful even to cure the sickle cell anemia uh, calyandra hematocephala scarlet red powder puff tree which is usually grown in indian gardens it is found even in the jammu floriculture parks and gardens much handsome 2 meter tall shrub with scarlet red powder puff fairy duster like flowers so it is also known as lal kalandar uh, in india also we have two native species one is found in northeastern india which is calyandra ambrosa under this species ambrosa we have two sub species calyandra ambrosa sub species ambrosa and another is calyandra ambrosa sub species griffithi here we have the uh, feathery uh, leaflets in the bipinnate leaves and flowers are also light pink in the cymos clusters another species which is native to india and is found uh, in south india uh, that is calyandra uh, cynometriidis likewise we have some garden ornamentals among the garden ornamentals which usually we find in north indian gardens especially in delhi gardens that is calyandra houstoniana uh, calyandra hematocephala calyandra emarginata calyandra brevipus calyandria calyandra tweedii tweedii is most handsome most beautiful with deep red flowers uh, uh, um, uh, if we see the uh, wildlife association with the calyandra flowers then calyandra hematocephala is the larval host plant for the common gross yellow butterfly geologically identified as yurima hikabi even the flowers blossoms are visited by many butterflies plain tiger butterfly geologically identified as denos chrysippus also known as african queen uh, another butterfly which is usually found on the blossoms of calyandra is great orange tip habomia glossipi which also uses the larval host plant our baruna cretiva religiosa uh, the flowers are also visited by the honey bees but the pollination is mostly accomplished by the night hawk moths and also by smaller bats another distinguishing feature of calyandra flowers and uh, plant is calyandria calyandra flowers are also nutritious and monkeys macaca mulata has also been seen foraging on its flowers Mon macaca mulata rhesus macaque also feeds on the flowers of albizia and likewise it also feeds on the flowers of calyandra brevipus calyandra uh, brevipus species as seen in uh, raika environment park jammu uh, another uh, unique thing about the flower of the calyandra is they have the nectariferous disc so nectariferous disc is also present in the flowers but there are no nectary flores or nectariferous glands on the rachis rachis is devoid of any glands but glands are found in the flowers and this nectar sipping honey bees are also attracted and butterflies are also attracted towards its blossoms uh, the calyandra worldwide has more than 144 species and most of these have been used as the garden ornamentals it is basically 
grows in tropical areas and subtropical belts. But few species have also been reported from the temperate uh, regions. Uh, Caliandra species, especially Caliandra shulji, has also been used for the bonsai making. Uh, these flowers are also known as rose cascade. They have the cascading like branches horizontally growing and then the beautiful blossoms. So cascading effect has given it a name as a uh, cascading rose, but it is not rose. It belongs to the uh, Mimosidae subfamily, now include, included as per angiosperm phylogeny group under the P family, that is Fabaceae. Subfamily is Mimosidae, but the tribe in which Caliandra is kept, that is Ingi tribe, in which Alvesia as well as Caliandra are kept, whereas Mimosi is put in another tribe, mimosi, that is separate because the number of stamens is less in mimosa and number of stamens is more in case of Caliandra and this feature is also shared with the Albizia. So garden ornamental plants which we have included in our parks and gardens, they also need to be documented and kept included, data included in the People's Biodiversity Register which uh, our local urban bodies have to document and compile reflecting what kind of green lung spaces uh, are available within the cities and urban centers and what different kind of insects, butterflies, birds they visit. Even Caliandra flowers are visited by many sunbirds. For example, Cyneris, Cyneris asiaticus that is purple sunbird or scarlet sunbird, Ithopaiga siparaja, uh, even gold fronted leaf bird, Chloropsis parifrans have been reported to sip nectar from the Caliandra uh, flowers. Even flower peckers, Dicem erythrorinca, uh, they also visit. So these garden ornamental plants, Caliandra, we need to plant to attract the butterflies they are must for any butterfly garden and in cities and parks we can include these shrubs already stands included in many parks and gardens maintained by the floriculture department in Bagebahu we see the white variety of Caliandra hematocephala Caliandra hematocephala variety alba which looks like protoricensis, but it is not protoricensis. In case of Caliandra protoricensis, leaves are feathery, means leaflets are linear, narrowly linear. Whereas in case of Caliandra hematocephala variety alba, the flowers, uh, leaflets are elliptic ovate with the oblique base and a curved apex. Obtuse apex. Uh, similarly, we can also grow the Caliandra emarginata, which is a handsome flowers and again the elliptic leaflets. Uh, 